Greetings, Majesty. Relax. Well, you ran really fast. <sighs> uh, Majesty, are you here to see him? Mm, John's been injured, so I got some medicine made for him. You're in time. Go and give it to him. I'll head back now. I won't disturb the two of you. <laughs> Majesty. <clears throat> I don't know how it works, though. Maybe we should both go in. Yenfu, wait for me out here. Let's go. Chen, please hold me. Gao Chen, look at me carefully. Huh. Huan Yun! You really thought I was her? Gao Chen, don't you make that mistake. I'm the princess of the Liang State. I'm not a stupid, lowly female official. Watch it! Don't say that about her. You think that she's so pure. When she thought you died, she quickly loved another man. For days now, Gao Yan has spent a lot of his time with your woman. The entire palace has seen them. They've been hugging and walking hand in hand. She isn't loyal. She doesn't care about you now. I know exactly what you're doing. Jin is not that kind of person. I know that she would never betray what we have. Xiao Huanyun, I've already made this clear to you before. I don't ever want to see you. It's over. You mean nothing to me. You will never stop thinking of me! Don't lie to me! If you can't stand me, then tell me why you have kept the statues I gave you. Go on. Explain it to me. I forgot they were there. They mean nothing. I don't care. I admit that you love another woman. But inside your heart, I know there's a spot that's still for me. A spot where you love me. Jan. Lujan's just my substitute. You only love her. Because she resembles me, right? Tell me. That's enough. No, wait. Get Listen. off. Listen. Get Stop off. It. Get off. I know that you still love me. I do too. Even if Gao Yan gives me all the stars in the sky, I'd still want you. What's going on? going on? Majesty, it was nothing. What are you thinking? An affair? You... Xiao Wan Yun, shut up! Let him think what he wants to. Gao Yun, didn't you swear to God for me that day? You... You said that it would be fine with you if I wanted Gao Zhan. That's great. So great. I can see in your eyes how my love is nothing but garbage to you. Majesty, nothing happened. It's not Just what you think. Just shut up! You better explain all this to Jen. Jen. Jen! Jen! Jen!
You believe that I have betrayed you? Order my execution. I have no objection. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill me. <gasps> Majesty! 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 You've no remorse for the mistake you've made. If I made a mistake, it was all your fault. You've taken advantage of my love. Let's go. Princess! Hey, are you alright? I thought that you two had patched things up. So why did you say all that? It can't be helped. Do you think he can have my heart? Because he said nice things to me? Jen, listen to me! Jen! Let go! It's raining a lot. Let's go inside or you'll get sick. Don't uh. touch me! Just answer me one question. Did you first like me? Because I look a lot like her. Look, it was a misunderstanding. Just tell me yes. Or tell me no. You're a lowly official! How dare you question the Crown Prince! Just shut up! I am stating the truth. She is nothing but... Enough! Prince Tangguang, my status might be low, but I won't be her substitute. Prince Tangguang, it seems my love is unrequited. Fine. It's true. That's why I liked you at the start. But then you became the only one I wanted! Really? Why do you have her statues? Because you miss her? I just told you, Jen! This is all a really big misunderstanding! Enough! Just let me go! Let me go! Stop! <laughs> go away! Stop it! Jen! Who are you? Jen! <laughs> You're injured! Are you okay? Jen! 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 No, Come Jen! Back. Leave Jen! her alone! She isn't worth your love, Jen! Jen! Point yet. Do you know why I've stayed far from you for so long? It's because you've become selfish and cold-blooded. You care for no one. You only care about your own feelings. Now you've gone too far. You hurt his majesty and also hurt Jen. Our friendship is over. From now onwards, you're nothing but a stranger to me. Ha <laughs> ha
You'll get sick. Majesty. Get him. Come. Now listen. Majesty. If you regard me as a close friend, please tell me everything, okay? I just need to know the whole truth. Fine. I will tell you. But this is a long story. Long ago, Xiao Huan Yun was the princess of Liao. Jen, open the door! Jen, please come out! Hear what I have to say! Come on! Come out! Come out! Come out! Jen, come out here now! Please, just listen to me! Please, my Jen! Prince, my prince! Come on, let's go back! I can't. She must hear me out. She might do something foolish! No, listen, that's not it! Come out! She's not inside there! His Majesty is with her now. Ah! Oh, oh no! <laughs> my prince! My prince, are you okay? No, you're burning up! And now, you know everything. So it's all true. That's why Madame Lo let me in. Because of how I looked. She took me to see the Empress. Because I'm regarded as the consort's shadow. That's not true, Jen. I don't compare you to anyone. I don't mean you. It's just... I've had... I've had enough. It's now time... to wake up from this dream. Before... when he looked at me... it seemed that he would look right past me at something else. I didn't understand, but right now, I finally know the reason why. Majesty, you and I are pitiful people. Majesty, promise me one thing. Please make sure that he doesn't see me. Are you certain? But he... I know he loves me, but I don't care. I won't be somebody's shadow. Moreover, recently, I made an oath in front of Shen Jiamin. If he returned home safely, I said I'd never be with him ever again. <laughs> this is my fate. God's in control now. Galdan has come back home. All I can do now is fulfill my promise. Uh, so how is he? His injury hasn't healed yet, and the rain has made his condition much worse. What? Then, then give him some medicine! Yes, right. I'll go make him some right now. Please. You, you should hurry! Jen, please listen. Give me a chance. Give me a chance, Jen. Give me a chance, Jen. Princess, I have some soup. Our friendship's over. 
I've done so much for him. Now he will treat me as a stranger. I'm sure what he said was out of anger. He... Really? All right. He was cruel to me. Someone will be cruel back. I'm the princess of Liang. And just for him, I would forget what status I really have. Does he expect me to kneel and beg for his love? Is there news from His Majesty? Not yet. He's been resting since he went back to his hall. His anger could affect his health. Make sure that a doctor goes to see him. Princess, if you're worried about His Majesty, why don't you explain to him? Shut up! What should I say? And explain what? Palace maids said the consort stepped down and doesn't want the harem now. She hated her role. If you allow it, she wants to leave the palace. Huan Yun. My prince, where are you going now? The doctor said you have to stay in your bed. I'm fine. But, my prince, can't you just remain here in your chambers? Do you want to see Madame Lou? I can summon her. Get off. I, uh... Let go. Uh... <sighs> my prince! Greetings, Prince Changguang. I'm glad you're all right. Thank you, B. Oh, wait! When I heard you came back, I was so worried. So, I came to see how you were doing. I heard from Jia Yan that if not for your help, I would still be trapped in that town. So thank you. You saved my life. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just glad you're alive. I'd do anything for you. Oh, well, thanks again. I'll make sure you get a promotion very soon. I've got to go, so excuse me. Goodbye, my prince. Yan Lu, wait for me. It's cold in Xinjing Hall. Bring the prince's cloak along. Why? Why? I saved your life. But you won't spend a minute to talk with me? Lu Jun, don't think you've beaten me just yet. Lady Shen, I'm glad to see you back here. <laughs> Please get up now. You look happy. What's the occasion? Um... <laughs> Come. We're good friends, so I can tell you. I just came here with my cousin. Very soon, I'll be a princess. <laughs> Wonderful. But I thought the prince is already... Things have changed. My family saved his life. If not for them, he would have been killed. Why is she going to be princess? I was responsible for this, not Jiamin. Huh? B, are you alright? Oh, I was just stunned with such joy when I heard your news. <laughs> You're really sweet. Hey, come, to the treasury. When I left before, I left some things there. And I think they'd be great for you to use. Come on! <laughs> My prince. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. She said she wants to be alone for now. No, I have to see her. She has to hear my side. 
She also told me to tell you that she knows all about your history with the consort. And if you try to barge in now, she will never see you again. How'd she find out? Did His Majesty? He did. Sister, His Majesty has left. Mm. Thanks for that. Come on, you will see him again, won't you? While I spoke to the prince, he was so sad. Doing this now is better than later. In a couple of days, Lady Shen will be his crown princess. What? Sister, are you okay? I'm fine. I damaged His Majesty's last robe. I wanted to make a new one. But my skills are pretty rusty now. I haven't kept it up. Let me go fetch you some more fabric. Oh, it's fine. I'll cover it with some more thread. Right. I've been allowed time off. Can you send Linglong a note? Just for now, she'll handle my work. Mm, sure. Why'd you let him get drunk? I couldn't stop him. For two days, he's been like this. Majesty, why'd you tell Jen about my past? You should have told her yourself. She has a right to know the truth. Majesty, don't you know by telling her you've made things complicated? And I didn't cheat on her. Nothing had happened with Huan Yun. I was in a daze, and she came Enough! in- Enough! Shut your mouth! But look, you already know. I have no feelings for Huan Yun. Huan Yun?! You claim that you don't like her, right? Then why do you say her first name?! Majesty... You've drunk too much. I'm not drunk! I know that. You came to laugh at me. You say you hate her. But no matter how much I try, she'll never forget you. And she wants to leave the palace to practice Buddhism and go so far away from me. Majesty, it's not my fault. It's not your fault? I know that. I've always been less than you. Even as emperor, I keep listening to whatever you tell me. But all this time, have you ever respected me? Why didn't you have your chambers closely guarded so she couldn't get in? <sighs> <laughs> Majesty! Stop it, Majesty! John, are you okay? I'm fine. Get the doctor! Wait! Don't go! Come on, I cut you deep. You must be treated now. Majesty, if others know about this, there will be rumors. Yes, of course, John. Yenfu! The medicine! Yes. I'm sorry. This is terrible. I said stupid things. I'm fine. Huan Yun has made me go insane. I feel... It's fine. Just believe me when I say that I hate her. I believe you. Majesty, I've always known you would become such a great ruler. You serve the country well. You treat people fairly, father would be so proud. If I was sad that I couldn't take the throne then and could rule instead of you, that's gone. I'm so proud that you're the one doing this. I'll always follow you and serve you well. Thank you. Majesty, you also know that Jen is the only girl I love, just like how you feel for the consort. Jen won't talk to me but she'll talk to you 
I really hope you will explain this to her. When we first met, I might have developed these feelings because she looked like Huan Yun. But quickly, that image of her faded away. I should have moved on back then and should have thrown out those statues, but that never meant I loved Huan Yun. Back in Suizhou, I kept escaping death. Every time I'd see her, I would just see her face. It's hard to say how strong I feel. Her background might be vastly different from mine, but that's never been important. She's my whole world. I know. I told Jen your history because I needed her to know that what happened among us three was just a quirk of fate. She told me she needs time to think it through. But John, there might be another reason here why she won't see you now. Tell me. She made an agreement with Jiao Min to get Duke Shen to rescue you. And if you came back safe, she would break up with you. That can't be. Our sister has sent me a letter. She said Jiamin's family was the reason you're alive now. Our sister thinks that it is time for you to pay the family back. It can't be. Majesty, my prince, the princess is outside. You don't know. Hey, huh? I thought I heard the prince. Oh! The princess is there too. Hey, let's go. No, not that way. Here, huh? Look, I have zero intention of being with Jia Min. Brother, don't be so ungrateful. It's because of her that you came home safe. I know. I know I owe my life to her father. And I won't forget it. Someday, I will repay him. But listen, Jamin will not be my princess. I think of her as a sister, and I have no romantic feelings for her. But that isn't the point here. John, I know you still love Lu Jen, but Jamin's more suited for marriage. Come. I know that. Let's go but now. I don't love Jamin at all. John, Promise me enough. you'll keep quiet. I'm sorry. It won't happen. Yes, of course. I'm busy. I've got to go. John! Lu Jen, tell me what you did to make him fall for you. He won't even marry Duke Shen's daughter. Point of crying. Master, you're finally back. Brother, the prince has been bewitched by that girl, Lu Jen. He doesn't even want to marry me. All right, enough. Yu Hua told me. Hey, it's fine. He'll come around. Stop crying, yeah? Because we saved his life. The Empress is mad at us. He's still in great danger. She'll retaliate soon. He's a smart man. He'll stay on our good side to stay alive. Really? Actually, I don't want you marrying him. But of course, you're my sister. Whatever you want, I'll help you get it. But you have to prepare yourself. Even if you end up as his wife, he still might never love you. That's okay. If we're married, I'll make him happy. If I'm nice to him, he will get over his love for Lu Jen. I wish I could get someone to... Enough! You're still Duke Shen's daughter, so remember your status. Whatever we want to gain, we can only do that through our smart decision-making. We will never get it by using tricks. 
I wasn't serious. If you hate her, let me go talk to her. From maid to official. I'm sure she's a smart girl. Why is he calling you Lin Long? I gave a fake name. He doesn't know I'm Lu Zhen. Don't worry. He doesn't know what happened. He just thinks I'm an aide to his majesty. Uh, it's fine. Lu Zhen can't be reached. She stays in the harem. And men can't go there. You'd need special permission. She stays in the harem? To manage well, be impartial, and try not to... Lu Jen? Lu Jen! I won't betray our deep love. I'm so sorry. Leave if you won't listen. Make your choice. Now listen to me. If you just want to be another concubine, go and see his majesty. Don't you dare waste my time. Teacher, that's not it. I'm not with his majesty. So are you having a love affair with a guard then? Now tell me the truth. Go on. Why did you come to see me? I came today to ask you to help me, madam. I thought you were on Wang Xuan's side. Why do you think I would happily help you out? The truth is, I made a deal with Madame Wang to be an official, to gain status. Of course, I had to be nice. But for a while, I've noticed that only you have the great wisdom and footsteps I should be following in. All right. Enough with the false flattery. Tell me. What do you want? Please help me, madam, to bring down Lu Jen. Bring down Lu Jen. <laughs> I'm sure you know that Lu Jen is one of the few officials I still trust in the palace. I don't think so. I'm aware that you've lost trust in that woman. Also, if you knew how close she is to the prince, you would be more distrustful. What's that? This is news to me, too. The two of them first met before she had arrived here. The prince is determined to make her his princess. This can't be true. Madam, if you think I'm lying, just ask his sister. Then you will know what I said is true. This makes sense. That's why she had her highness's jade. That's why his majesty is kind to her, but doesn't want to be with her. And that's why she defends the crown prince. She even defied my order last time. I've been smart my entire life, and yet she has managed to deceive me. What's next? Should we report this to the Empress right now and take her down? Not yet. It's not wise to trouble her with this now. I've been deceived here, and I will get my revenge on her. So, that is why I've decided to avoid him. I understand. I just don't know if I should praise you now or tell you off. I'm surprised that a low-rank official would have the guts to get involved with two men. It's quite impressive. But now, I have to come to accept his past history. It's complicated, so I understand. He clings to his past, and it makes me sad, but I can deal with it. So why are you still lamenting about this? You should go now and reconcile with the Crown Prince, and don't let Miss Shen get in the way. But I made an oath to Lady Shen. If I end up with the Crown Prince, my life would be over. <laughs> That's nonsense. You really care about things like that? I swear to God, if I can't eat five bowls of rice tonight, then please end my life. Okay, I made an oath. And I won't be consuming five bowls. Come back and get my dead body. Teacher! 
Grow up. I've been teaching you how to govern this whole dynasty, but your heart keeps getting you entangled in petty drama. You, go back and think hard. Are you going to keep fighting with another girl for some man's love? Or will you study hard so you can become one of the best officials? Brother. I'm here, your majesty. How'd it go? It took some effort to convince her to give me time to settle this. But I will never marry Jia Min. The Shens work for us, and they can't force you to marry their daughter. Jia, how is your pain now? I'm fine. It'll heal. I interrogated the criminals and learned my mother. Don't worry. Even though she's residing in her hall, I promise you I won't let this slide. I will always protect you. But, after all this, I'm ashamed to be the Emperor now. I think it would be better if the throne went to you. Majesty, you are nothing like your mother, and it's not your fault for what she has done. All I want is to help my brother, a man who has great wisdom. I promise you now, I don't want to rule. But you... Majesty, I'm not lying. I'll swear before our father's tomb that I don't want it if you don't believe me. But brother, can... can you please spare her life? She's my mother after all. Majesty, she's the one who's been attacking me. While I haven't. Brother! Majesty! John, I'm begging you now, all right? Just get up from the floor! Fine, okay. I promise. If your mother doesn't hurt me, I will let her go. Good. Get up! John. John, thank you. I know we'll all be okay. Yes, I know. But the lows are influential here. So give me more time. I promise I'll... <coughs> Majesty, trust me. We'll be fine. <coughs> Your health has been getting worse. Don't drink. I know. I've been sad the past few days. So I just... I have seen everything between you and Huan Yun in all these years. I know her ego is strong, <coughs> but it doesn't mean she doesn't care for you. For instance, she wants to leave your side, but I think she just wants you worried. Really? Mm. Brother, heed my advice. You should leave Lu Jen alone. As for me, I will do the same. She's such a stubborn woman, but she'll come around. If you force it, she'll leave you. Give her a couple of days to calm down first, and then soon I will have a chat with her. We'll see if she will see you. All right. What? He got really drunk? Yes. Ran Yang had told him that you wanted to give up the harem. She also told him you wanted to leave this place. When he heard that, he began drinking. The prince went to see him, and his majesty cut him. Is John in pain? He's fine. He and his majesty are good now. Should I get someone to check up on him? I'm a stranger to him, so what's the point? It's fine, if he's alive. But His Majesty is feeling quite ill. He got wet in the rain and drank so much wine. The doctor is always visiting him.
I swear to God, that by my honor as emperor, that I'll only love Huan Yun my whole life. 